हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अनदर एंगल मेजरिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंट दैट इज एंगल डेकर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग टू दिस सेशन सम इंट्रोडक्शन टू एंगुलर मेजरमेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी दैट फॉर मेजरिंग द एंगल नो एब्सोल्यूट स्टैंडर्ड इज रिक्वायर्ड द मेजरमेंट इज डन इन डिग्रीज मिनट्स एंड सेकंड्स वी कैन मेजर द एंगल इन डिग्रीज मिनट्स एंड सेकंड्स the measurement of angular and circular divisions is an important part of inspection so it is concerned with the measurement of individual angles angular changes and deflections on component gauges and tools for precise measurements of angles more skill is required like linear measurement angular measurements have their own importance the basic difference between this linear and angular measurement is that no absolute standard is required for angular measurement that is the introduction to angle um, angular measurement so angle decker is a part of a or it is act as a articulometer so it is a optical instrument so this session we are going to see how the angle is measured or small deviations in angular measure measurement can be done by using this angle decker that we are going to see so in this session we are going to see the working principle of this angle decker working process and application where this angle decker is used that we are going to see so before starting to this session i request everyone to subscribe my channel click on bell icon to get more notifications first the working principle of angle decker so it is a type of articulometer which is used for measuring small variations in angular setting so the principle of angle decker is same as a autocollimeter which having a focal plane collimating lens and reflector from that point source when the light is passed it fall on the collimating lens and from the collimating lens the straight lines are passed to the reflector which is our work piece if the reflector is normal to the light then we are getting perpendicular light which is reflected back and collected at a point source when the all the lights which are reflected which are coming at the point source exactly then we can say that there is no reflect uh, there is no deviations on the component but in some case if we are having some reflections from the point source the light which is coming which falling on this reflector which tilted or uh, deviation with angle theta then again tilted by and it will get an angle of 2 theta so there we are getting the variations small angular variations we are getting so the principle is that whatever the re uh, reflections we are getting from the workpiece surface in angle decker we are using two scales that eliminated scale and datum scale based on that we are finding out the positional difference so angle decker is type of a instrument which measures by comparing its reading obtained from standard like sign bar or combination of angle gauges with from the work under test so it is not a measuring instrument it comparing whatever the readings we are getting from the standard and actual component so this is the principle of angle decker now working process of angle decker now first we will see what are the equipments which are used in angle decker first one is a lamp then prism we can uh, use constant position prism or dovel prism which uh, reflect or projected or reflect all the light which is falling on this prism with a right angle this prism kept at a glass screen which in focal plane of objective lens then we are having a collimating objective lens on the surface plate we are keeping the work piece so this is the setup for this angle decker so this glass screen is having two scales microscope i ips from this we are getting the reading two scales we are having one is a illuminated screen on that we are having the illuminated scale another we are having a datum scale 
so by using these two scales we are getting the positional errors by by using this angle decker so once the light is coming from the lamp which fall on the prism it reflects 90 degree and it is coming to the culminating lens this culminating lens uh, transfers the light source to the workpiece from the workpiece the light rays which are coming from the culminating lens will be reflected back and from this objective lens we are getting the lines a straight line edge which can be uh, seen on the microscope eyepiece so this microscope eyepiece we are getting two scale divisions like illuminated scale and datum scale so based on that we are finding out the positional error with the workpiece so whatever the system which is shown the actual setup is look like this it is a uh, enclosed in a tube which is mounted on an adjustable bracket so it is having a ip light housing adjustable link by using this light uh, adjustable links we are holding the tube whatever the optical system is having in from the angle decker then all this setup we are keeping on the surface plate then we are having a component to be tested but before that we are setting whatever the angles to the standard size by using this angle gauges and taking the readings and then we are replacing that angle gauges with the component to be tested which on this we are keeping the polished reflector we can uh, which as a slip gauge so this there is a lab flat and reflective base on which all these things are placed it is mostly used as a comparator the instrument measures by comparing the readings obtained from a standard a sign bar or combination of angle gauges with that from the work under test though this is not a precise instrument in comparison to a tachometer but it has a wide field of application for general angular measurements and angular variations are read direct without the operation of a micrometer so without the uh, application of micrometer we can get the readings based on the two scales that is illuminated scale and datum scale so how uh, the view of the ips from the angle decker based on these two scales can be seen you can get the two scales that is reflected image of the illuminated scale and fixed datum scale so we can see the in illuminated scale is engraved on the glass screen which is uh, having another scale that is a fixed datum scale so all this we can see from the ips so it ips is con uh, glass screen is contains small illuminated scale in the focal plane of the objective lens that is culminating lens this scale is normal position to the outside the view of a microscope eyepiece you can see it is normal to the microscope eyepiece the illuminated scale is projected as a parallel beam by a culminating lens which after striking the reflector below the instrument is refocused by the lens in the field view of eyepiece so the how the working process it is carried out that we have seen that the light is coming from lamp to prism to the culminating lens when it is reflected back to the workpiece and that can be seen on the ips so in this field of view of microscope there is another datum scale which is fixed across the center screen and the reflected image of the illuminated scale is received at right angle to this fixed scale so whatever the reflected image we are getting from this illuminated scale which will be the right angle to this fixed scale thus the we are getting the actual view of this angle decker how we are measuring the readings that how the readings can be taken that we are going to see so first we are getting the zero d reading with the angle built up the reading on the illuminated scale measures angular deviation from one axis at the 90 degree to the optical axis and reading on the datum scale is measures the deviation about an axis mutually perpendicular to the other two in other words changes in angular position of the reflector in two planes are indicated by changes in 
point of intersection of two scales. So whatever the readings from scale are read direct to one minute without the use of micrometer. So how we are getting this reading from the angle decker? So we have seen the setup. In that setup we have seen the angle gauges and component to be tested which uh, attach with the polished reflected. So what what we are going to do? We have to we have seen that angle decker is capable of measuring small variations in angular setting that is determining the angular tilt. In operation the measuring principle is that measurement by comparison. So we are getting the readings by using a comparison that the angle decker is said to give a fixed reading from a known angle. So this known angle can be built by using this angle gauge. So using known angular standards to obtain a zero reading. So based on this known angular standard we can obtain the zero reading. So first what we have to do? First the angle gauge combination is set up to the nearest known angle of the component and the angle decker is set by using some special attachment and link that we have seen in the actual setup such that the zero reading is obtained on the eliminated scale. So once your angle gauge is built up based on that angle gauge the zero reading can be obtained. So you can see based on the angle gauge the zero reading is obtained and it is shown here. Now the angle gauge built up is then removed and replaced by the component under test. A straight edge between used to ensure that there is no change in lateral position. So the new positions we are getting that is a reading of component of the reflected scale with respect to the fixed scale gives the angular tilt of the component from a set angle. So whatever the error we are getting that is the positional error which is shifted from the zero reading to the any dimensional variation. So whatever the zero reading we are getting from the peak, uh, datum scale that is at zero. So here the engraved scale is matching with this uh, 20. Then it is shifted from 20 to 40. So that, that is the positional error. So positional error is 40 minus 20 that is 20 divisions and each division is giving the readings of 1 minute. So this positional error we are getting 20 minutes. So this angle decker we can use for various application for measuring angle of a component. Also we can use checking the slope angle of a V block. We can use to measure the ang angle of a cone or taper gauge. So this uh, angle decker we can use for precise angular setting for machining operation. Here we are considering a, if uh, take an example of milling slot at precise angle to a previously machined datum's phase. A parallel bar is used as a datum phase and the component being securely clamped when it is close contact with the it. So parallel beam which is positioned to the table milling machine with the aid of angle decker then we are passing the light then we are getting the movement in the position that illuminated scale is changed position from the initial that zero reading then we are getting the position error then slope angle of phi block here the principle consists of comparing the reading obtained from the polished slip gauge in a close contact with the work surface and zero reading obtained from the angle gauge built up. So in this V block we are falling on the light based on the angle decker too. So there we are using the close contact with the work, work surface and zero reading which is obtained from the angle gauge built up. Also we can use to measure the angle of a cone or taper gauge. This is a simple setup which uh, use whenever we are measuring the first set for the normal angle of a cone by the combination of angle gauges or sign bar set to the normal angle then we are changing that position that angle gauges 
with uh, component so based on that slip gauge are placed with the angle gauges and we are getting the positional errors so by using this uh, looking at angle decker is give used as a comparison so based on the standard values is giving the positional error so first we have to set the angle gauge to that known angle by using a uh, angle gauges then we have to measure the positional error so in this session we have seen how the angle decker works what is the working principle what are the different equipments that angle decker is having and how the angle decker is measuring the small deviational variation that we have seen also where we are using this principle of angle decker to measure the small deviation variation that we have seen so it is clear that it is a type of an autocolometer but it measures the small angular variations with the angular setting so we have to take a uh, build the angle by using the angle gauges and based on that setup we have to check the component reading based on the positional errors so we have to find out the positional errors and based on that we can get the small angular deviations hope you like this video if you like it please stay connected and subscribe my channel click on bell icon to get more notifications if you want to cover any topic regarding the engineering background please put that topic name in comment box hope you like this thank you thank you very much